Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy. Um, in this part, stuff's gonna happen, but before we get into that, let me just tell you, I got Chaz to like level 10, and you know what happens when you get your Choco Chick into level 10 territory? You can access this big hulking prism uh, ability that allows them to transfigure into Chocobo! <laughs> Freaking beefy as hell now a couple things you might want to know we can he can turn into a chocobo regular chocobo and that's pretty badass because first off joy ride it's a great thing to have um can also get some more abilities and stuff like that you know what uh while i'm here i'm gonna i can't get that uh you know what screw it i'm going for the kick Normally, I would totally do the, um, totally do the guild finder, because extra money is great. But that's not the point. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. You see, he can go to a medium size, which is great. But the question is, how do you transfigure prisms? And I gotta show this off, because otherwise, there's no other point. <laughs> I had to evolve my chocobo, or my choco chick. Chaz has to evolve into a chocobo. Now, now he's beefy. And so now I gotta do the whole stack and everything. Anyways, I need to show that off before we go into the place. So I'm gonna readjust everything. Geodude is actually gonna be useful. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. So we will resume where we need to. Okay, now we're really starting the part. Uh, something that I forgot to mention. So I got the Joyride ability. Also, I forgot a treasure chest that had a potion. But I forgot to mention, Chaz is even better because he has the Joyride ability, which totally lets you ride on top of your Mirages. Because uh, Chocobos have that ability. But other Mirages also have that ability. So it's pretty cool. Uh, something else I forgot to mention. So aside from Geo Dude here, which, you know, fine. You know, it's our Mirage of this area. I also caught a Copper Gnome. Now, I caught one because, uh, very useful in this one situation. Also, because he meets the conditions, and, uh, that's, that's the most important part. That's why I had to catch it. Uh, that said, um, I'm not gonna use it. Because there's no reason for me to use it. It's just kind of there as for being a, uh, HM slave. So to speak. If this is Pokemon, it, it kind of be for that exact purpose. A new path. Check out that switchcraft. Yep. Now we know switch way to the go. Switchever one of you thinks you're being clever is about to get a knuckle stand switch. Oh, did did I just get owned? I'm the raising the white flag here too. Anyways, well that is said. Um, I'm just gonna keep riding Choco Chaz. Cause he, he's awesome, man. Um, I don't know if I can do this. I think I can. I think I got enough. Uh, I'm just gonna activate all the switches that I can as possible. Yeah, that, that meets the conditions. Um, when the, uh, Copper Gnome evolves, he'll have a pretty awesome ability that I can actually make use of. But again, it's only for the sheer fact of, uh, doing certain things. Cause Mirages can... Do certain things much like that. So, hey, I got an, I got an Earth Hammer. I can do that one. Uh, um, what is it? Side quest. There we go. That's the word. I got Phoenix Down. Sweet, sweet. So I needed it, and uh, I'm just I'm just taking advantage of that because I would have had to have it anyways. So I don't plan to use my copper gnome, but. I'm, I'm gonna keep it in my party just because. Also, found out how to do the, uh, the auto button. Found the auto button and the fast forward button. So, uh, battles are gonna be super quick and super just well, don't have to do anything. Also, we're looking pretty beefy. I should mention, level 10 is pretty OP for this area, so I really don't think we're gonna have any issues from here on out, or at least right now. Uh, hey, Tama. Weird question. Um, how come all this really useful, well-presented information keeps popping into our... Well, I, I guess I cut off what they were saying. I guess in a crow is the 
trying to give you some tips. Dude, really? And here I thought I was some kind of super genius coming up with all the answers on my own. I hate to the break it to you, but you will never the be that person. I know. It's so sad. Whoa, hey now, come on. You don't have to look that broken hearted when you say it. Anyways, this is a rock. It has an icon over it. I can't do anything with that right now. But if Copper Gnome evolves, I, I totally could. He gets an ability much like Joyride. Except, uh, it's not Joyride. It's something specific. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, that's not the good. This is the call to Threshold. Mirage is the create them to mark their territory. When you see a threshold, you better watch out because the mirages inside are extremely the powerful. And the worst part, if you cross it and lose a fight the inside, I can't use my powers to rewind time and extricate you. No extrication? Guess we'd better be extra careful then. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, it sounds like if we're going in, we'd better go in fully prepared. That's the for sure. And don't forget to save your progress too. All right, so basically game over if you lose. That that's what I got. Everyone got that? Oh, and uh shortcuts. That's cool. Um I th I think we're good. I think we're good. Just going to save. Rain unfortunately has to be in her uh giant form, so uh that's fine. I max out the um mirage stacks. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to, better to word that, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna save and we're gonna continue onward. It's gonna be amazing. Everyone's gonna be happy. Why am I not riding Choco Chaz? The guy is, is... It's fun. It's fast. I like it. What the honk? Be careful! I expected some foolhardy adventurer with a terminal case of curiosity. What's this? Well, look who's back. Ah, the half pints. Hail and well met. Wait, hail and well met? That's not our names! I think he just means hello. Oh, and for the record, he happens to be a half-wit and a half-pint. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Huh? What's so funny? Oh, you're having a lawn moment. Guess I'll just add this one to the pile. Wait, what pile? There's a pile? Apparently. We've met the three of you before, although we don't remember it. You do not remember us? Really? No wonder they haven't summoned us. Then our course of action is clear. We must ensure the pecking order is pecking in the right order. If you seek to command the three of us again, then demonstrate your strength now or else be destroyed! Die! Hold now. Why must you two always let the blood rush to your head? W uh, what do you mean? Would you just look at them? These are not the Mirage Keepers we knew. Hi. You're right. They do look rather... How do I put it? Put what? Mon does set the bar low. Like Limbo the bar low. Hmm? Ah, oh, I see. See what? Very well. What say we pit them against just one of us, to keep things nice and fair? Hmm, agreed then. Go on, choose from among us and choose wisely. Choose for what? Time certainly has not made you any more clever. What we're trying to say is, the two of you are no match for all three of us at once. Which means... Right, I get it, thanks. Now, let's see... Huh? Wait, get what? Huh? 
Hot, okay. Sorry if there was like a random cut right there. So I was like totally trying to figure out the best way to go about this because it's, it's basically we get to choose our boss, which is kind of cool. But here's the thing. I was like, uh, you ask me, all of them are kind of the same except, uh, you know, Elemental. And they're the legendary summons of the traditional Final Fantasy. For any of you who don't know, we got Shiva, Ramu, and Ifrit. If that's not how you pronounce them, so I'm going to pronounce them. So here's how, what I'm going to do. I've got a random number generator to just pick out who's who. And here's how it's going to work. Shiva's number one, Ramu's number two, Ifrit's number three. So I'm just going to hit it, and that's who we're going to fight. And it is not three. It's three. So it's Ifrit. We're gonna fight the Ifrit. Choose me. I know you've missed it. Step now into the searing embrace of my hellfire. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna do it. Here we go, Ifrit time, baby. This guy with his hellfire ability attack, whatever. All right, let's turn up the heat. Uh, I think he's got that part covered. Here we go, here we go, alright. Uh, I should be well... I should be well capable of handling all this. That said, I'm totally gonna have to, like, just stop using the fast forward button every time, uh, one of us doesn't attack. Just, just because cinematics, you know how it works. Again, I think we should have this, uh, like, well, uh, well, I think we should have this, like, no problem. I think, I think we can do this. It's gonna be fast, quick. This guy's going down like a bitch. Because, uh, you know, these guys, they talk big, but I feel like they're all pushovers. All of them. Well, except maybe Ramu. He seems wise. But I mean, yeah, okay, there we go, here we go, this is gonna hurt. I'm waiting for him to do something big and dramatic. That wasn't nearly as big and dramatic as I thought it would be. Oh, something else that I have, something really cool. Uh, so like, um, I should have a cure ability. And you know what? Totally, totally abuse it. And you know who else has a cure ability? Cause I got it. Um, Tama. Tama has a cure ability. We have cure. We don't have to waste our potions. Sure, it takes up AP, but I mean, everything aside from physical attacks take up AP. That's I don't care. I mean, it's your basic boss fight. Look, he's going down. He's he's weak. You want to strike first? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We strike first. We're strong. We're powerful. We're the we're the Mirage Keepers, baby. Look at fire. That was pathetic. You know what? Use the cure ability. Heal up the other party. There we go. That that's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know what? While you're at it, uh, Ooh, let's try the body slam. That's gonna be good. Ooh, that did that did a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, that was victorious. That was beautiful. Brilliant. Uh, the Copper Gnome. So, if you have Mirages, like, all on your team, and you have any that are not on your team, they're kind of in the sidelines, but they still get experience, and so, uh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We got an Arma Gem. That's gonna be useful soon, I believe. Enough. Soon. I have seen my fill for one day. That was fun, for what it was. A shame the two of you have so much growing up to do. Quiet, you! I'm the Hulk waiting to happen. So long, we shall meet again. Well, our paths may cross before you know it. Bye bye for now. Huh? What's this? A prismarium, duh. I know it's a prismarium, dummy. You didn't manage to imprison those tough mirages, but it looks though like they give you this prismarium from the same tribe as a consolation prize. I see. I guess we made the grade then. 
That's right, we got a Freet Prismarium. Am I pronouncing that right? Oh, it's adorable. It's a little baby Ifrit. Not the Ifrit, but it's like it's like the same one in its baby form. That, that's cute. It's adorable. I'm not going to use it on my team. So, uh, I don't know. I, d I don't really have any plans. Uh, again, it's one of those situations where it's like... It has an ability which I can totally use, so I'll probably have it on the sidelines, but I'm not actually putting it on my team, so it'll, it'll be traveling with us. But it's not, a, yeah. Okay, here we go. The game was like Transfigurations, baby, because you're gonna want to do that. Even though I already showed it off. <laughs> it don't matter, unique abilities. Um, oh man. Perfect example would be Thomas' secret weapon, the super dimensional. Wait, the super fox dimensional Tama beam? What does not actually exist? Why would you bring it up, man? That's stupid. I wish it existed. <laughs> yeah, man. A sidekick with laser. Well, dude, laser eyes would be cool. Ah, they would burn her cute little red nose. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh well. Oh well.